gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Fight! Fight! All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Ladies Bruce and Buffer. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, the USA Monster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? He gets caught with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Trying the flying knee there. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Look at him drive his shit and control the body with that body kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. 
He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He lands the head kick. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Lee. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Left-right combo is good. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Connects with a right. Big body to land. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Nice punch by Lee. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Right hand upstairs. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at the turtle in that kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. It's very tricky when he throws that body to the Just out of range with that left hook. A oh, little single collar tie there. That was a nice fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow, huge head kick. Oh! Ah, that jab hurt him. Nice body. Good work blocking the knee. Effective punch there by Lee. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. They continue to exchange. Beautiful body kick. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Caught that kick there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Let's go, let's go, 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Beautiful body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ball oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. 
Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Good punch. He's going after the head. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area with great effect. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Beautiful strike. Just misses there with the left. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Liver kick. Blocks the strike. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. left hand just out of range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Misses with the jab. And they separate. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Whips on the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Head kick land. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes, 
and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick lands. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of He missed with that jab attempt there. Yeah. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. What a punch. What a body kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer right there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he's the taller fighter and never landed knee to the body with relative ease there. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Straight punch lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. He's trying to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. That's a big strike right there. Superman punch lands! What a tricky head kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. There's no give on that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. <laughs> Slips. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. I don't think that would be and both guys really throwing with authority. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice right hand counter. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Real sneak body kick. Nice head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice strike. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 
waning seconds here of round number three. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're gonna continue. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina. <laughs> Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice punch there by Lee. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, there comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. He lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he can. Oh, oh, and then kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him from high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big policy punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. And he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go. Big body kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very short. Nice. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't, very understanding of that. Back to the feet. Wow! Oh, it's over. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, 
punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that.